In this video, we will cover how inductive proximity sensor works and how to select one for your application. Manufacturers offer AC, DC and analog output sensors with industrial washdown and harsh environment ratings. Sensors usually comes in a round shape, square, rectangular bodies with sizes ranges from 3 mm to 30 mm in round sensors. Let's start with the basics. What is an inductive proximity sensor and what will it detect? Where would one be used? Maybe your application needs to detect how fast a piece of machinery is operating and the reading of the teeth on the gear will allow the PLC or some other device to detect the gear rotation speed. Maybe do the math conversion and send the speed of the rotation to an HMI display screen. Inductive proximity sensor is a sensor that produces electromagnetic field that detects only the metal targets within the sensing zone. Here are the few examples metal proxy sensor will detect. Iron, brass, aluminum, copper, and stainless steel. Iron is the most common target. Other metals have a D rating, means these metals have to come closer to the sensor in order to get detected. The sensing zone of the sensor is determined by the size of the sensor. Generally, larger the sensor, greater the sensing distance. An example is the 8mm standard proximity sensor. It has a sensing distance of 1.5mm. While this 30mm proximity sensor has a sensing distance of 10mm. There are two types of the proximity sensors, shielded and unshielded. Shielded sensors will be flush mounted while an unshielded requires a specific free zone around the sensing phase in order not influence the sensing characteristics. Why somebody wants to use unshielded sensor? Unshielded has a greater sensing range. If you look at the sensor, internal components extended past the external body of the sensor. Let's use the same 8mm proximity sensor we used previously with the sensing distance of 1.5mm. If now we test, we can see that Unshielded proximity sensor has a greater range of 2.5 mm and shielded sensor has a range of only 1.5 mm. If we look at the diagram of the inductive sensor, a high frequency magnetic field is generated by the coil L in the oscillation circuit. When a target approaches the magnetic field, an induction current or eddy current flows in the target due to the electromagnetic induction which causes the load on the oscillation circuit to increase. Then oscillation amplitude reduces or oscillation completely stops. The sensor detects this change in the oscillation status with amplitude detecting circuit and output a detection signal. So that's the end of the today's session. Please don't forget to subscribe for more upcoming videos. Till next video, take care and goodbye.